guys i look like a total complete mess but it's because traveling always drains me so bad um i literally just got into my hotel right now and it's a really gloomy rainy day outside so um it's only like 317 but i think i'm ready to take a nap i just want to show you guys the room right now since i have a little bit of energy i'm gonna order some dinner super close to the airport so i can hear all the planes which i mean is not bad but it's just a really gloomy gloomy day door to the hotel room there's an area to sit down right here whenever you come in and then there's a coffee table um a sofa or a couch whatever you call it and then you have your tv right here and um you have a dresser computer desk slash chair um and then you have microwave um keurig sink fridge all that fun stuff this is the sofa as you guys saw um and then let's just give you guys empty cute cute hi guys <laughs> and then from here you walk here and you have your restroom so i haven't really checked out oh that's it's a very light restroom i'm used to like them being really bright um but it's a really big mirror look at how cute this is okay so then it has a shower back here cute okay and then i have my closet right here it's just a simple closet and I have my own little room here. So you can shut the door if you want to. Um, like if I have somebody over or something, like you can keep it very personal, open it up. But this is the room. I think there's a mirror back here. Yeah, there is. This is cute. And then that doesn't open. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna go ahead and order some dinner because or some lunch. It's only three, but I feel like it's it's already nighttime. I feel like I need to go to bed. No, I actually have to put all my stuff away. So I'm putting everything away. You know what I noticed whenever I got here? That I forgot my makeup brushes. I forgot all of my makeup brushes. What? Why? So I'm so mad at myself, but they're just makeup brushes. It's fine. I'll live. I believe. Guys, I got, oh my gosh, this looks delicious. Got my pizza. Oh, this is um, a possible from Domino's, one of my favorite things to eat. So that looks good. I'm just watching this on TV. Chillaxin. Okay guys, still looking like trash. <laughs> I'm gonna get everything unpacked right now from my luggages. Um, ow, I just ran off of my butt. Hi guys, so it's my day two here, but it was my first day back to work. Ooh, my camera's kind of dirty. <laughs> I get explaining stuff. I'm drinking a cup of coffee um, because it's 10 o'clock and I need a shower um, and I have to get up early tomorrow. Okay, hold on. Let's clear this because there's a message on there. It's 1021. Guess what? It's Leslie's shopping addiction um, it's actually not sh my shopping addiction i just needed some shoes if i don't wear them then you know whatever because honestly i'm going to be running around like a crazy maniac today or these next two weeks so i doubt i ever am gonna maybe wear uncomfortable shoes to work uncomfortable shoes to wear because to work because i have to run around the store and do things so um i probably won't wear the shoes that i bought but if i don't i can just return them um and if i do well then i do but this is my closet guys let me show you guys a little tour um so i had a limited amount of hangers so i had to like layer everything up so like i have this dress with the flannel and i have this dress with this um and then i also did some pants like i hung some pants 
with like over pieces they're not necessarily outfits it's just stuff that I wanted to hang up and not fold up um, and then I put all my like my underwear and bras and stuff up here and then I have my shirts and some of my lounging things um, I had to get some shoes to wear with my outfits because literally all I bought was like tennis shoes and stuff so I brought those shoes right there my favorite shoes to wear lately and then I brought those two pairs of shoes right there so I didn't bring anything to wear like on a cute day so I just bought these at Charlotte Russe and they were $15 and they're white so I've never gotten anything like it and hopefully I don't tire my feet out too much I got them in a size 9 I'm usually a size 8 but size 9 definitely in these shoes because they were so tight on me so um so we got those and then I got this cute little wallet that was on sale for four it is so cute and it's just very simple and minimalistic and honestly I've been so into this kind of stuff where it's just so minimal and then I got some jewelry to wear because I didn't bring any jewelry but I just got this it's cheap jewelry from Charlotte Russe it's they were $1.99 on sale um, originally like six bucks so they're so cute that I can just wear with my outfit hey guys that's what I I literally worked my butt off today so I'm gonna probably work my butt off for the next two weeks that I'm here honestly so you guys probably won't see a lot for me just probably like hauls and check-ins so we'll see how it goes hi guys so it's a few days later I don't even know what day it is honestly um, but every night I've been getting myself a cup of coffee right after I come in from work because man oh man am I so really tired from working so much um, it's fun and I love what I do but I'm learning new things and I'm developing in you know what I'm doing and all this stuff so it's just um, it's fun but it's also really tiring um, I'm getting up early leaving work late and just learning a whole bunch of things so um, I've just felt a little like oh you know like so I need I need my cup of coffee because if not I'll just come and crash which is like nice to do of course like everyone's like well, why don't you just go to sleep or something but the thing is I just need some me time like I do this even with like my kiddos at home um, I'll work and then I'll come home I'll be a mom and you know do all the stuff for them give them baths do school stuff with them and then even after I'm like exhausted and they're asleep and my day's done I still need some me time and I've always I've always done that and I'm pretty sure some moms out there can relate do you guys like my outfit from today it was so cute look at that I had some white booties on which killed my feet guys it, they killed my feet so I chose to wear to wear booties today because I'm guessing I was guessing like it was gonna be shorter shift no girl like i was supposed to get off at five didn't get off till like seven and here i am so i had a long shift today okay okay so um i, I really want to go to the pool but i don't want to go to the pool at the same time because who wants to go to the pool by themselves i do i i have like saturday sunday off friday saturday and sunday off isn't that crazy i've just been working too much that they that i can't work anymore after i graduated high school my mom um she came in i think i recorded it um so i'll link it down below hello mother oh thank you mommy oh i love you oh you're so sweet mom give me a kiss give me a kiss <laughs> She's jealous. Aww. I like little statues. <gasps> oh, I like this one. Look at this one. Sissy, look. No, you. Okay, kiss. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Is there a little note on here or no? Out. Wishing you the best. I'm very proud of you. From mom. Love you. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Very emotional. My eyes. 
and she came in and I was getting ready to I think go to my graduation and we we're all getting ready running around and my mom came in with like some flowers I'm gonna cry thinking about it she came in with some flowers and she um, gave me this cute little thing um, and it's crazy how some of the smallest things mean the most to you in life and my mom has never ever been one of the like she's never been that person that gives you gifts like her way her love language is a lot different than mine like I love gifts I love hugs I love to be you know affirmed that I'm loved and things like that my mom is a total opposite so whenever she shows love to somebody she shows it the way that she knows how to so it's oftentimes you know I feel like my mom she shows love in everything that she does for you she cleans for you she cooks for you um, she makes sure you're taken care of like that's the way she shows love and I'm pretty sure that's the way she likes to receive love um, so that's just the kind of person she is and her birthday is on the 18th so I'm here this entire week and the entire next week um, and I'll be right back in time for her birthday and so um, I've been thinking like what can I get my mom for her birthday and you guys I always say this in every one of my videos probably and um, to all my friends and family because people look at me and I think sometimes they feel bad for me they feel sorry for me because they look at me and you're like oh you're a single teen mom and I tell them my story and I tell them you know what I'm going through like I tell you guys and they think that I'm going through with this entire journey by myself and I always feel like I would not be able to be here like where I am right now in this hotel room if it was not for my mom like and for my family and but most importantly like, my mom like nobody has ever 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 loved me and shown me what she has shown me she is really like a ride or die mom like if I give a definition for a mom it'd be my mom like she is so loving and mom girl you're not wearing waterproof mascara you better stop crying over here but this is called willow tree um and they come with little ah i have something in my eye okay so they're little wood i'm trying not to ruin it they're like little wood um figurines if that's what you call it i don't know what to call it i'm gonna try to untake like take it out of the packaging and my mom gave me one like i said i'll link it down below because i'm pretty sure i recorded it my mom gave me one um doesn't look like this but kind of does um and it had like a little it, had, it has like a little girl holding a heart and they all have a little meaning to it and i think mine is something along the lines of like love and it, it was one of the most significant things that she has ever given to me because my mom is that person that like i said she'll throw things away if they're on the floor um and so i like it it means a lot to me and i don't think she realizes how much it meant for me um for her to give that to me on my graduation and she was just like so proud of me and she like let me know that by giving me this little figurine and i was so in love and so i for her birthday wanted to get her something special and i was like walking around the mall yesterday and i was like oh let's see if i can find anything for my mom that i can just take back to her and these are um harder to find these little figurines are harder um, i walk into this like weird store that i would have never walked and i'm like looking around everything and then i see like these a whole bunch of these little figurines and uh, girl i wanted to cry because i looked at them and i'm like this is exactly what i want like for my mom like this is exactly what i want to show her and if y'all didn't know my mom lost my brother almost three years ago it'll be three years this next year um and i think she's honestly the strongest woman ever in my entire life um she lost my brother and then my other brother um we got some really bad news for him um which i'm not gonna share because it's his personal life and so she i feel like she lost like two kids in one day and um and so i've always wanted to show her like that she's in her life i feel like she feels like the worst mom out there like you know losing one son to suicide and the other one to bad you know addictions and stuff and then having a daughter who is you know who is 13 and pregnant i feel like she honestly feels like the worst mom out i swear to god she is not like she doesn't deserve anything that she's gone through this this woman does not deserve what she's gone through but she has only shown me grace and love and 
compassion through it all. I really need to freaking stop crying. So I looked at this and it reminded me of Sam and my mom. Took care of him and protected him as much as she could and loved him um, unconditionally. Um, wow, that was really long and, and very, very sad. Guess what I woke up to, guys? Snow! It looks so pretty. It looks so pretty. I'm pretty sure it snowed a few, maybe like an inch or two. Maybe. Hi guys, good morning. It's four days until I go back to my house, back home, um, and I'm excited, so I'm counting down. To okay guys, so I'm going really cash to work today, honestly, so I have this black, it's a tank top with a sports bra. I wore it yesterday and I slept with it, so I'm just wearing it today to work. I just threw on this cute little cardigan that's actually my mother's. Um, I brought it because it's so soft. It's from H&M, you guys see it? One of the softest things, softest things ever. And then I'm just wearing some black high-waisted pants and my tennis shoes because I'm going to be running around like a crazy maniac today. I'm going to climb ladders and, you know, doing that fun stuff. So I'm going to put on my jacket real quick because we're going to go outside. And it's freezing. We are going to head downstairs okay guys i'm back home i'm editing this vlog and it's honestly the most bo boring vlog i've ever recorded so if you watched it all the way through, thank you so much for watching this vlog because I felt like it was just me at a hotel talking to you guys all like the entire time because literally I just was in the hotel the entire time. Um, but I had a fun trip. Like I said, I definitely worked my butt off in this trip. I'm so excited to be back home. I definitely got homesick the last like few days of the trip, um, but I'm back. Um, I'm here with the kids. I wanna hop on here and say thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I promise we're gonna do more fun things than just this vlog that you saw, just me sitting in a hotel. So subscribe if you haven't, and don't forget to click the notification bell if you do subscribe to our channel um, so that you'll be notified when we upload a new vlog, video, beauty video, lifestyle video, whatever kind of video we upload, you will know that it's uploaded if you click that notification bell. Oh, we will talk to you guys next time. Bye.